Hello and welcome to Surf Miners Let's Play, episode 8 of season 2. And I'm going to fix up this uh, Buildcraft energy production, so let's get to it. First off, I'm going to craft a couple of steam engines. I think I'm going to go... Well, I'm going to start off with two. I'm going to expand more on it later, but let's get the basic concept done first. So, let's start off with a couple of pistons. And... Uh, some gears. Do the buildcraft version this time. Um, so this would be steam engine. My memory is not as good as it should be. Yeah, this guy. Silver and redstone. Well, not a problem. And uh, of course I click the wrong mouse button, but that's okay. Copper. This guy. And more copper. Yep. Show those. So let's just place those down and uh, we'll take it from there. So I marked up where I want them to go. So along this wall. Start off by two, and uh, we're gonna have a chest in this corner, I think, with the uh, coal. So let's get that. And uh, then comes the red power stuff to automatically keep them supplied with the uh, coal. So let's go get a few things. You're gonna need of course the diamond hand saw and that other or did I already cook up? Let me just go find uh, some supplies and I'll be right back. Okay, I think I got everything I need now. So first off, we're gonna need, of course, uh, some of those pneumatic tubing. So... A bunch of those. And uh, then we're gonna go with a filter. It's also from Red Power 2, so we're going to need these red duped wafers. And that would be silicon wafers with the redstone in an alloy furnace. So let's try out this uh, blue electric alloy furnace that we set up earlier. I got some wafers here and some redstone. So if I throw them in there we should get going. It's going to drain energy from this battery box, which is nice and charged thanks to our solar panels. So let's just grab those for now and let him continue his work. And where was I? Yes, so a piston and a gold and cobblestone. Well, I suppose I should go get a piston, but let's just put the rest in there. So, let's 
so something like that. Yeah, just missing the piston. I'll go get the piston. So I got my piston and uh, we can get ourselves a filter. So let's grab these as well. The filter is going to pull out of uh, this chest and uh, actually I think I want this to be underneath here. So a bit of digging. I should probably make myself a screwdriver so I can rotate these machines because that's not the orientation wanted in. So again I am missing things. Well as I said red power is very new to me so yeah I'll go get screwdriver and I'll be back. So a screwdriver is kind of like, uh, you know, we have the wrench in Buildcraft to rotate engines and interact with things. And the Red Power has a screwdriver. So the simple screwdriver is just a piece of iron and a stick. And uh, that's gonna wear and tear and eventually break. So I'm gonna go straight for the sonic screwdriver instead, but it's a rechargeable screwdriver. So let's go make that guy, because it's cool. Sonic screwdriver, thank you. And then we need to go charge him in our battery box before we can use it. Uh, maybe it's there. Or maybe I don't know what I'm doing. So let me figure that out and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have put away my sonic screwdriver because I couldn't get it charged. It might be that you need this uh, charging bench nowadays. This is a fairly recent addition to Red Power and maybe, just maybe, you can no longer charge that guy in a battery box. You need the charging bench. Could be. I don't know. So, in the meanwhile, I'm gonna go with a good old-fashioned screwdriver. And now I should be able to right click this guy to rotate him. And I'm not quite sure which direction. Is that the right way or is that the right way? I do not know. But we should be able to test it fairly easy. If I just connect, uh, so I connect it up to this engine. And place some coal in here. Let's just make sure the engine is uh, set to require a redstone signal to run so that it doesn't try to start working without me actually telling it to. So if I then place a, let's see, a lever. Since I do not have the material to make a button on me and I don't want to go get it because I'm lazy. So each time this guy receives a redstone signal he should be taking one item out of the chest and put it into the tube as long as there's a valid inventory somewhere along that tube that that item can go into. And that didn't work so if I rotate this guy again there we go. So that's how you want to have it. Uh, it actually pulled it full stack but that's okay. We're gonna fix something up here. So next I want to craft something called regulators. 
they will control the amount of the coal that I actually allow in there. So it's a kind of complicated recipe. We need buffers, so that's just iron bars and uh, wood. That's not a problem. Two of those coming up. Let's see. Iron bars and uh, where's my wood? And there's my screwdriver. He's gonna sit there and haunt me, laughing at me. Oh well. Um, that's better. Two of those. And we're gonna need this item detector. It's a bit more complicated, but nothing we can't handle. Pressure plate. There were some wafers, there were some brass, probably doing this all wrong right now, but one thing at a time, wood and pipes. Tubes, they're called actually. Item detector. So we got our filter, buffers, item detector, more wafers and brass and some wood. Brass, wood, these guys, item detector and buffers. And we got a regulator. And I'm gonna need another regulator for the other engine, but let's start with this one and see if we can get this to work as we want. So let's see. Want this guy to sit right there. And uh, point in some way, perhaps that way. Give me some coal. So if I right click this guy, I can specify what he is allowed to collect from that tube. So if I say piece of coal, he's going to collect one piece at a time from uh, this tube here. Or there, rather he's going to allow one piece of at a time to go into this thing. And then I tell him that I want him to keep two pieces of coal into the inventory he's connected to. And that would be the engine. So, if I pulse this guy now, I don't have any code in it, of course. Let's try it again. And it still doesn't work. So maybe I got this guy wrong. That seems better, yes. So he pulled out, it seems he's actually storing the times I have uh, flipped that lever. Yeah, I think so. So anyway, the engine now has two pieces of coal. And if I flip this one again, nothing's gonna happen because this guy is not allowing any more coal to go through. If I pull these two out, it's going to immediately send them back in. So, actually I'm not 100% sure how this filter works, but I thought it would only do things once, once you applied uh, the redstone pulse. Let's remove the lever for a while and make the rain stop. I'll be right back. Actually, I think a filter was a bit of overkill. You can do this with a much simpler transposer. It's just a piston, some cobblestone, redstone and wooden planks. So let's try this guy instead. And uh, I apologize for being such a noob at this. I should really 
have tested things a little better before I record this, but oh well, next time. I think it's that way we want to have him. So, now then. Nothing happens. If I take those out. No code in there. Code in there. Let's flip it. Nothing happens. Okay. Turn him around. Flip. There comes some coal. And it lands in the engine. Another flip. Another piece of coal lands in the engine. And now hopefully it won't pull out anymore. And now I don't know what Actually it does, but uh, it doesn't go into the engine. And now I'm... Oh my, I'm making a mess. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back and I think I'm calmed down enough to actually continue. Uh, it's dangerous to have this screwdriver active because you click things and things that you don't want to happen, happen. So if I right click with something else I open the interface of course and if I right click with the screwdriver I uh, rotate it. So yeah, keep that in mind. Anyway, I think I got it set up now the way I wanted it to. So the regulator will uh, try to keep two pieces of coal into this engine. And the, uh, what's it called? Transposer. Every time it receives a redstone pulse, it's going to tr pull one item out of this uh, chest and send it into the tube. But it will only do that if it has uh, that piece of coal or whatever it is in the chest has a valid inventory to go to. So now the engine is empty and this one, this uh, middle slot here is a buffer, kind of, and that one's also empty. So if I pulse it once, there comes a piece of coal, goes into the engine. Pulse it again, one piece of coal goes into the engine. And if I pulse it the third time, we're going to get yet another piece of coal. But that piece it will stay here inside the regulator in that buffer. Because I told it to accept one piece of coal at a time. But now if I pulse it, nothing's going to get pulled out. And if I were to remove that coal, the ones in the buffer is immediately inserted and uh, the pulses we did earlier are actually stored, so he remembers that he uh, has been pulsed already. So we got a few more pieces of coal. So that's how my refueling system is going to work here. And uh, of course I'm not going to stand here and hit that button every time. I want to do something else. Something automatic, of course. Now. I could do it probably with the build craft gates and that's one probably how it's going to be done later on. But uh, that requires a lot of diamonds and uh, of course power to actually make the gates. So that's going to be later. Right now I'm thinking uh, red power has uh, the solution. So I want a timer. And this guy can send out a redstone pulse at regular intervals and you can set that interval into almost any time you need. So it's a complicated thing. You're going to need a lot of stuff. And most of these things are crafted uh, with the stone wafers. So put stone in a furnace and you get stone wafers. So let me go fix that up and uh, I'll be back. And as you can see most of these are just a different combination of stone wafers and uh, redstone. So 
and uh, there are a lot of neat uh, redstone related uh, stuff in red power that's kind of well that's one big part of it different ways to improve and enhance redstone uh, behavior redstone wiring logic gates all kinds of neat stuff and I'll probably get into a lot of that later on but for now let me go fix up some uh, well a timer and I'll be back Okay, so I finally got my timer and I set it up right here. And these nifty things you can put on walls and in, on the roof or anywhere. Don't need to be like on the ground. So I uh, set him up to every 30 seconds he's gonna pulse. And uh, make sure you get coal in our engines. So I'm gonna of course uh, add a few more engines and add uh, these regulators to them as well and uh, what else do we have to do well there's the water problem of course we're gonna need to I'm gonna use this branch off from this pipe here and get water into these engines that way and uh, that should be pretty much it so I'll do a little bit of that uh, between episodes get the regulators and engines and uh, yeah so I think that will be enough for this episode and again I apologize for uh, not checking up better test things better beforehand because well I really would like to be better prepared. It feels better to put up videos that uh, actually go smooth. So uh, I'll test things better next time before I start recording. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and I hope you have patience enough to watch me again. So until next time, bye bye!